Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Confessions with Karamia back with a collective haul from Target and Timu. We got some spring items. I found these cute little book boxes. Look at this. Butterfly Garden. I thought it would be, make a wonderful uh, little container for keepsakes or some of our crafty supplies. I love the butterfly images. Inside, I also put some Easter chocolates. I'm gonna be filling this up with some goodies and mailing it off to a friend. So that's what that looks like. I got this second one for myself. I may be putting some of my trims in here, or if not, I am gonna be putting some paper ephemera with a botanical theme. So that's what the spine looks like. And then I also picked up one of these Sketch It, Erase It electronic message boards. I think these are super fun with the kitties. So I got this. This was $5 and it's really fun to bring on the go when you're traveling for the summer. So I'm going to be including that in some happy mail. And then my daughter and I spotted these cute little containers which will be perfect for our happy mail swaps and also perfect for storage in our craft room so in terms of measurement for the height you can see that's like two inches now inside this is what it looks like so with the length it is almost three inches but you have six compartments and you can definitely put your little um, embellishments and also send off some happy mail. So I did get several because I am getting ready um, to organize and some uh, of the happy mail and my embellishments in my craft room. Also got this blue one, I love blue. So we got that blue little one there. And then my daughter got a couple of these clear ones which are also really nice to look at and then uh, i may alter a few of these uh, the ones that i'll be mailing anyway in um, happy mail the next item i got is from timu and i really like i don't really have anything in cream and white when it comes to beads and uh, we have some flat back or no we have little bows in there but I thought these were really cute to add to some vintage themed little dangles. Um, so I may be using that for that. And then I'm going to be sharing it with my daughter, Emmy, who loves to work on her beading for bracelets. I also got this set of socks and I just like these types of colors. I mean, they're they're not the usual black or gray and I thought these would be fun to wear with some boots have the design sticking out you know if you were wearing um, a skirt and you have like little tall black boots or something but I love these colors they feel soft we'll see how they do in the wash so we have some of those socks there also picked up some of these adorable iridescent heart little foam kind of feeling little embellishments. I'm currently working on a swap and I thought I would embellish some of the um, little things that I'm making for that particular swap. And then I got these really pretty, oh my gosh, these are really cute. Look at that. Wouldn't that be perfect for a summer theme? And they're just like little faux pearl little flat back embellishment so i'll put it right there so you can see it and i think this set came with six they're all the same size but i thought they were so pretty actually we have more than six it looks like we have eight in this bag i also picked up some of these little bow metal dies it looks like it has a reindeer little die there. I may have to look it up. I hope it works. I'm currently working on my uh, Let's Be Friends swap. And one of the requirements was to create a bow. So I have that. And I also picked up a set of these colorful jump rings. I'm going to have to open it up and see if they are strong or flimsy. I had uh, previously purchased some I think it was from Target and they were too soft. So I hope these aren't that way, but you can see 
but there's a great variety of colors in here. Here's a look at what these jump rings look like. I did test one of the gold ones. It feels pretty solid, but look at how <laughs> they are all attached. So that's going to be interesting to take apart, but they are open, so I think there shouldn't be a problem with separating that. I'm trying to see if I can make dangle charms. Um, some of the channels that I've seen done these beautiful dangle charms are from Soleil and Craft. Kathy's favorite things. I think Liana from It's a Deal has made some beautiful ones. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many. I don't know if uh, Crystal from Vividly on paper has done them. I'm pretty sure she has. But anyway, I've also picked up some of these. I didn't realize how small they were or short. Uh, but I will be testing this with my smaller beads. So we have that. And let's see what else I got. Oh, yes. From Target, they did have these clear. They called them clear plastic vases, but I want to use it um, in my craft room to store, you know, some ephemera or other items. It says hidden garden, but I thought it was really, really sweet. I love it. So I have that one there. I have a couple more items from Timu. This one is a mirror and comb set, and I thought it was just pretty. Um, something more for display rather than use. I know the mirror I'll use for sure, but it's a peacock, and then we have the comb. The comb's a little bent here, so we'll have to see. I'm not so sure about that. Do you see it? Um... But it's really nice. I will try combing my hair with this, but it is metal, so I'm not so sure. I may also use it to um, uh, maybe accessorize a junk journal. I'm not sure, but really pretty. I love the design on that. And the mirror is uh, nice and clear. And then the last one is silly. It's a little music box. And... This was kind of an impulse buy. It is a sewing machine, but I really like it. And I'll, I'll do an insert shot of what it does. You have the wind up piece here for the music, but there are several elements that start moving when you open the drawer. And I'll show that in the video here on the side. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this collective haul. I'll see you again next time for a future project to share and probably a haul again. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.